I saved key of D for last because at this point, to a large extent, we are recycling information we've already learned, except we're starting on the D chord instead of starting on a G or starting on an A. And basically... I think you're going to recognize these, but I'm going to go over them anyway. You've got your D. Lots of different ways to get to your G. You can do the descending bass line of fourth, third fret on the fifth, and notice again I had to take off my finger to do that. Second fret on the fifth, open fifth and a D chord, and then G. La, 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 la. You can also do it open six, second fret of the six, third fret of the six. D. And to get back and forth between them, I can play second fret of the fifth, third fret of the fifth, and then the open fourth. And you can make up little drills like that just to get handy. The more of this that you have, think of this as a vocabulary of licks, a vocabulary of bass runs and connecting runs that you can plug and play whenever these chords are in play. So from D to A, that two to four on the fifth string becomes your key again. Fourth string, fourth fret of the fifth, second fret of the fifth, open fifth, and back up. And sometimes I'll do it with one finger. Sometimes I'll do it with two fingers, see what's comfortable for you. Now if you want to do it chromatically, the same Timing would mean that you have to skip one of your brushes instead of bass, brush, note, note, bass, brush, note, note. You're going to go bass, note, note, note. Bass, note. You could be really fancy and and in a holding pattern on the D chord I'll use that open fifth second fret of the fifth open fourth or various different combinations so I might go And if I want to be a little fancier, open fourth, second fret of the fifth, open fifth, then I slide from two to four on the fifth and play the open fourth, which is, of course, the same note as you have right here, but... And of course that works with the A chord. And I think we did it in A. play around with these different combinations. So we've got the D, we've got the G. How do we get chromatically from G to A?
And again, you have multiple timings. You might need it quickly. Or you might. So now let's take a look at the classic bluegrass bass run in D and then we'll be ready to play some music. 